Over the past several decades, construction has evolved in California to offset the possible impacts of big quakes. A lot of it driven by research by engineers and scientists right here in San Diego. CBS 8 Steve Price joins us live from outside the UC San Diego Shake Table and Scripps Ranch. Steve, they've recreated some of the state's biggest earthquakes. What do they do with that information? Well, they're using that information at Anna and Carlo to change building codes and practices all across the state. And it seems to be working, as you guys just mentioned, we had a moderate earthquake today, no fatalities, no major damage. Now, over my shoulder, you can't help but notice they are building this 10-story steel structure. You can still see they have some windows to put in, some other work to do out there. But once they get this completed, they're going to use it to have multiple simulated earthquakes on it. And this is the second tall building that they're gonna be testing. Three, two, one. It's the tallest full-scale building ever constructed and tested on an earthquake simulator. And it happened right here in San Diego. The work we do is pretty amazing. Karush Latvitsada is the operations manager at UC San Diego's outdoor shake table. And he was here in 2023 when the wood structure designed to simulate a residential building was put to the test. We're always testing new mechanisms, new devices, uh, new technologies. So um, pretty much everything we do here is uh, something I'm proud of. The cross laminated timber, which is a popular alternative to concrete and steel was put through more than 200 earthquake simulations, including one meant to recreate the 6.7 magnitude Northridge quake in 1994, which killed more than 50 people and caused several buildings to collapse. That rocking wall mechanism, the building being so flexible, there was very, very minimal damage. And that damage was more cosmetic, like you could just repair it easily and move on. The hydraulics. Yeah. Karouj took us underneath the shake table, showed us the mechanisms that move it, allowing them to recreate not just the strength of an earthquake, rolling, but also the way it moves. Yeah, we do the rolling, we do the pitch, and we can do the yaw. So we're a 60 degree freedom shake table. Any motion you can think of, we can replicate. And the work they do here leads to changes all across California. When I drive under a bridge, I look at, look underneath it, look at the columns and recognize some of the features. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember doing something related to that. Now being built at UCSD Shake Table, another 10-story building, this one made of steel. They hope to start testing it in June. The ultimate goal is resilience. So you just want it to be flexible enough to move. Uh, you can get some damage in the building, but ideally uh, prevent collapse naturally uh, and buy enough time for the occupants to exit the building safely. Karush points to today's 5.2 magnitude quake to show just how far we've come. No major damage and no loss of life. But are we ready for the big one? I'd like to think we are. I mean, we, we can always do better. We can always do better, but they are definitely working on it. You know, another place you can see some of their work, that new Terminal 1 at San Diego International Airport, they've put a lot of work in there to prepare for earthquakes as well. As for this 10-story building behind me, Carlo and Anna, they are hoping to start testing it in June. And then when they're done, assuming it's still standing, which they think it will be, they plan to set it on fire and they'll do some tests with that as well. So a lot going on here at UCSD's Shake Table. We'll send it back to you in the studio.